If mold is invisible, how do we know that it's affecting us? Typically, most people now have done in-home testing and they've tested their blood or their urine for mycotoxins and mold. And they know, oh shit, there's mold in my home that made me sick. More often than not, they can't even find visible mold because they don't have a physical mold problem. They have an airborne mold problem. The way it's going to make you sick is by being in the air of your home. You're not ingesting the mold spores. You are inhaling the mold spores. So air mold is proof that invisible air can make you very sick. Some mold smell. Some people can smell it. Some can't. But the fact that we know that we can get very sick from mold, now when we can filter that mold out of the air, as well as all the other particulates, pollution, et cetera, and be breathing clean air, that just reduces a huge toxin burden. And also when people get sick from mold, the amount of people I know who have confirmed mold toxicity, who are taking their daily sauna and they're taking their binders and they're still breathing thousands of mold spores every day at home, you cannot heal in the place that made you sick. And if you can, it's because you have to do something about the environment and it starts with clean air.